Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Georgina. So today I'm gonna to show you how to play Uno. It's called Uno Showdown. So I'm gonna play how to play basic Uno and Showdown Uno. So, so you don't have to read the instructions because they're kind of confusing. And I don't like reading instructions because the words and well, I know how to read words, but like, I just don't like reading instructions. And it's long and then you don't understand it. So that's why I'm just gonna show you how to do it from people to people. <laughs> So I got this Uno Showdown for my for a present, just a random present. And I'm just gonna show you how to play. Ba ba I'm gonna show you how to play Basic Uno first, and then I'm gonna show you how to play Showdown Uno. So to play Basic Uno, everyone gets seven cards. Everyone gets seven cards. So you can play with two people, three people, four people, doesn't matter, but everyone gets seven cards. So I'm just gonna grab some seven cards right here. And the concept of the game is to get the less cards. So if you keep give, giving out your cards, and you well you don't you don't give them out, but I'll tell you about what what, what, do, you, what do you do in the cards in a second. But um, the concept of the game is to lose all your cards and then you win. So if you have no cards left, then you win. And you have to say Uno. Um, but when 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 you have to, you, when you only have two cards left, and you have to say Uno, or my my family does it you draw another card so you have a lot less chance of winning if, if you if you forgot to say uno anyways so to um how to play the game is you make a pile and you, you should already have given everyone their seven cards you you leave the other cards in a pile and you flip one so right here i have a yellow three and you put that yellow three down on the ground not on the ground, on the table. Um, you put the yellow, the yellow three down. And so these are my cards. I took seven cards. So do I have any yellows or do I have any threes? So um, to, if you want to put down a card, your card has to be yellow or a three because of this. This says a three, but if it was like, if the first card down was blue with a two, then you have to have a blue or a two. You do you don't have to have have both. So this would be right. I could put this two down because the, the numbers match. And then the whole color would, would change to green. So the other person would, would need another green card or another green card or another two. Um, but if you don't have any of those cards, you only have like red, yellows, and that's it. You don't have any of twos or greens. Then you draw from the pile and, and then... Um, the other person takes their turn, so it's kind of like, like you missed a turn, but you also like have a less chance of winning because you drawed one, and you want the less cards, remember? So you, so you don't want to get more cards. <laughs> and that's really the concept of the game, and I'm just going to show you the other stuff. It's not just numbers. You also have little wild, wild cards. You have this cards, you know, so if you give this to someone, and it doesn't matter what color it is, it can be... It can be blue, it can be green, it can be red, it can be yellow, it can be all the colors, and it can be all the different numbers, it doesn't matter. Um, because, so you just put this down, and the person after you that goes, they have to draw four cards, and take four cards, and then that they have a less chance of winning, and then since you see the different color cards, you also get to choose the color of, uh, uh, the, uh, the color that you want other people to set down. So, if I had, like more greens than my other colors i if and i and i put this down then i want to want to choose the color to be green so i can lose my cards because if i chose it to be red i get one turn but then i have to draw and i have to get more and more cards and you don't want to get more cards yeah and also this one if you put this down on like a yellow uh card then the other person that's after you has to draw two cards, not four, two cards. And then there's also a skip or a reverse. So the, this is the reverse one. And you can put this down with uh, another reverse card or a blue card. Um, so you put this down, and then if you're in a circle, then the whole thing reverses. So if, if, if you're going like clockwise, you're going clockwise and then if you put this reverse thing down then you go the other way so if since it's your turn and you put this down you um the, the other person skip their turns and then the person um after you but a different clockwise 
well, not clockwise, because if you were going clockwise, then you're not clockwise anymore. We'll go. So, to, to make this sense, if it was going clockwise and you just went and you put this green, blue card down, then the person on this way, because now you're going to be going this way when you used to be going this way. You're going to clockwise. Just switch it up. And if you get this kind of card, then you skip the person after you. So if, the, your, my, if my person was mom, and then after my mom was my dad, then I would skip my mom, and then it would just be my dad. And I also have, and this card is a wild card. So when you put this down, you can choose any color you want. And it doesn't matter, um, and if like, before you put this down, if there's like yellows or red, it, it doesn't matter. You can just put it down, which, which other, every color it has when it's your turn. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. Just, uh, you know, you have to follow from the colors and the numbers. And that's it. That's how you play basic enough. Uh, this one's not that different. You play the same things, but there's just, you just do more stuff. So I'm about to show you what is that. So let me just clean this up because it's kind of a mess. Let's see? Yeah. So let me just clean that up. And then I'll tell you what else to do. And so my, for my uh, family, I, if you don't have any, like, uh, car, like, if the color was yellow and the, and the, and the person put, has a yellow right there, and if you don't have any yellow cards, my family only, only draws one, but for other families, they just keep drawing and drawing and drawing and drawing until they get yellow. So there's many, many different ways to do it, but that's how I do it. So I showed you my way because that's the way I know how to do it. So now let's do Uno Showdown. So how to play Uno Showdown is, so let me just switch up. So how to play Uno Showdown is, it comes with this little thing, well, this little machine, and you have to put batteries in it, but um, yeah, you put all your cards in here if you want. You don't have to, but just, you could, I don't. But I, I set them out like a normal. So you're going to play a normal Uno game like I just taught you how to play. Or if you already knew how to play. Um, but you're just going to play a, a normal Uno game. And if something ha if there's a symbol on your card, like this symbol. It said that one it says a one, but there's ones that says twos and one, two, three. One, three. This one says one, two, three. Um, and I'm going to explain why it says that. So if someone put has a yellow, a yellow, if someone has like a yellow card down and you have a yellow one with a symbol, you put that down. And then you, you the person that put this, the person after you, I mean the person after you, um, you two have to do an Uno showdown. So how to do an Uno showdown is you, 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 you look at your card and this has a one. So you take one of the cards from the pile, from the pile, and you, you take one of the cards and you put it right here. You just slide that in, and you ma make sure that it's not like this, it has to be like that. And you press, you press this little button, and then there's one person over here and one person over here. You put your fingers like that, and then when this turns green, you guys both press on it, and if the person, if it, so I'll show you how it jumps. Okay. So I would have won because so if because there, there's actually going to be two people here and they're going to bounce, so it's an equal way of who wins. But anyways, since I was just doing by one person, I jumped. I, I pressed this. No one pressed here, so I won, of course, because it matters of who presses it first. And you don't want more cards, so if it bounces over here and, and you're the person over here, then you kind of lose because you get another card and you want the last card. So that's really it. Um, so every time and every time you have that kind of symbol on your card, uh, that's what you have to do. And some other symbols have a, a two on them, like this symbol has a two. And then, so that means you draw two cards and slide them in here because they all fit. Yeah, they all fit. Then you do the same concept, just with two cards. And then there's other ones with that that you can choose. It has like one, 
two, three. And then you can choose if you want to put one, two, or three cards in there. Yeah, it's really a fun game. And you really want to play it. So I hope you guys like, like this video. I'll try to post more videos. Um, I'll maybe post another video in a week or so. Bye!